by speed here. So the year is almost over. And 2015, I have created lots of work, lots of artwork. And you've got materials, supplies, art supplies, and I've showed you them. I've done whole videos about them and did artwork with them and started doing that. And it's been a lot of work. And let just say I've done a lot of artwork for the entire year 2015. And that year was over. I thought I would do a kind of end of the year, my few supplies I've used overall throughout the year 2015 to show you. Okay, so I went through all my art supplies and I picked out my favorites, things I like, things that they're okay, and I don't like at all. And I think these are all products I use throughout the year 2015. And you probably see most of them, most of you haven't seen most of them. Some I haven't used yet, some I did, and it's all mixed up that kind of thing. Okay, the first product is a new product. As you know, I recently, well, I've always used acrylics. I've been injected for years. So recently I changed it up, and I've gotten oil paints, I all got us into inks. And inks, I'm loving the inks. And my first thing that I tried, I was that I discovered, was the Daler and Roner FW Acrylic Artist Ink. I used this a lot when I first started. It's amazing. I did a review on it. I did a video on it. I'll put that link below. It's really good. It's so bright and so fluid, but it's so bright and I can't tell them about it. I have like so many of them already. So this is why my first first bought. This is the Starlight Emerald. It's like a bright orangey red, but it's really it's good nail polish color. Think about it, but it's really great. I love them. I use them a lot. They're very fluid. They don't stain. They're it's great. I have tons of them. I have what my recent ones I haven't used yet are is this one. This is the emerald green. The emerald green, and this is the processed cyan, like a bluish, very nice bluish. So I haven't used these two yet, but I will. But I'm in love with them. They're so great. And they come in bigger sizes. They come in like size like this big, that like that big. Sorry, yeah. But I have the, the smaller one with the drop tube here, the drop, the drop cap. But these are really great. I love them. I really recommend enjoying them. The yellow one, I have the yellow one. The yellow one's okay. Now it's so it's a little watery than the other colors. But the bright colors like this and the orange and the green and the blue, those are really good colors. So FW Acrylic Artist Ink, it's got a way to go. It was inks. And then, speaking of inks, there is a girl who I follow on Instagram. She follows me too. She's amazing, or I forgot her name. I will put her link her Instagram below. But she's an amazing artist, and she uses ink because she does watercolor and things like that. She does, she does illustration, illustration painting, she does, and other amazing things. But she used, she did, she did put, posted a video about inks, and she uses the black cat. And, Waterproof India ink. This is really good. I was very impressed with this. It's a. It's not like a watery black. It's a thick, like thick black, and it's really. I like it. And it comes bigger. This this is the small size, but it comes in a bigger size as well. But the thing when you open the cap, you have to be very careful because the ink is. They put a lot of ink in this little jar. It's up to the rim of the top here, so open it really careful. So they will spill out. I like, had spilled out some little bit already, but I used it. But it's really good, and it goes a long way. You don't need a lot. It goes it goes a long way. So the black black cat would be Indian, and you can buy it at Blick. I think you only buy it at Blick. Don't buy sales, but it's really good. I love it. And also speaking of inks, this is the Higgins. Higgins is very popular, very famous for inks. But I don't really like this one so much. It's not as good as the black the black cat. It's it's okay, but it's so watery and so like. It's not strong. It's not strong black. It's like it's like the black ink's a strong black. This is still a little little weak. Don't like it. And it's not a lot in here, so it's not. It's okay. But I was curious. I bought this. I was curious about it. I knew the brand, but I'm not really happy about this one. Like I use it like one time. Like it's not like I don't really recommend it. But if you don't like a sort of the solid black, this may work for you. But it doesn't really work for me. That much at all. Okay, the next product is in speaking of paints, as you know, I started with acrylic paints and I've been using them for like forever, like for, forever. So, but and then I went to Michael's one time and my mom, as, as a mom, she got me into using uh, these paints. They're fluid paints from Michael's. They're called Craft Marts, Craft Marts acrylic paint. I used them in a, in a fluid painting, I think it's right there and right there. Yeah, for, for, my, for my wall here. Those two, these two paintings were created with paints from, from this brand. It was a Craftsmart acrylic fluid paint. They're really good paint. 
Great, and they come in a good pack for like eight dollars. You like you get like twelve paint jars this size. It's really good. They had two different, they had two different um, color settings. So they had like prim primaries that have like you know browns and grays and blacks and like that. But it's really good and really affordable. The ink, the the, ink, the paint is really good. But the problem I have with this paint is after it dries, it kind of cracks. Like these two paintings, they look good, right? But if you look really, really, I look really, really close up at them. They're kind of cracked in some places. I don't really like that very much. It's not like like smooth or solid. It's kind of like cracked when it dries. I don't really like that. It's I know you really can't see them afar, but to me, I don't it bothers me. I don't, really don't like it. So they're okay. The colors are great. Just that I don't I don't like the cracking. That's it. The thing about this is, um, but Liquitex. Acrylic, it's acrylic. I've used this for years. My very, very first YouTube video, when it was me in the video, when it was a art haul, and I bought the bunch of these and I showed them in the video. That was my very, very first video. Not too long ago, but <laughs> very, very first video. I was so nervous. The video it was crazy. Yeah, I was so nervous. My lighting was so bad. I had, my, I had a good camera, my lighting was terrible. I, was terrible. I had like a floodlight on my head. It was terrible. But anyway. <laughs> These are really good paint. I use them for years. I use all the time. My Call Me Happy painting collection is from these. Some paints up here. I've used some of these. I use all the time everything. I love these things. They used to come in tube and two um, jars like this. But they don't have jars no more. They sell the, the tube now. And this this is a this is a four ounce tube. And there's an eight ounce and there's an eight ounce one. The tubes like this years ago. If you live in New York City, you remember Pearl Paint Art Supply Store, it was on Canal Street. Pearl was a famous, everyone's Pearl Paint, it was so famous. And these things closed down because the buildings are old and it, it's terrible. But they used to sell the Gotex uh, basic paint, but the big two jars, like the 32 ounce jars, the 64 ounce jars, the huge ones, and it was great. But then they don't sell these anymore, and Pearl Paint is closed. <laughs> it's closed for good. So I, it's kind of sad they don't even jars no more. I, I like the tubes, but I think I use the tubes. I don't know. It's, it's more painted here, but I kind of like to get it. Start out with jars, so I kind of like to get used to them. But anyway, but paint is really, really good. I recommend it. It's a really good acrylic paint. So you're starting out, or you want a really good color that's basic and, and it's affordable. It's really good. You can buy it at Michaels. This is like $5 at Michaels. A big one is like 10 at Michaels, and it'll blood too. So it's a really good paint. I really recommend it. And next thing is oil paints. I recently got oil paints. Um, I discovered them recently. I was not sure how to work with them. My daily research and my recent video prior to this one, I did oil paint painting. I did a, uh, a demo how to use oil paints well and you need with them. So I started using a the kit. Uh, but once you need oil paints, they're tiny, tiny paints. They look like this. They're so cute. I love them. I have a bunch of them. The kit was like a clearance. It was like seven dollars from 25 which is a very good deal so i got like two of them so i have a bunch of these and they're really good so these are the wits and newton uh color oil colors they're really good this is this is the blue and i have a yellow here this is the yellow one it's really good and to use this you have to use the liquid original i talked about this in the video this helps paint fluid make the oil paint then it would it, 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 it easier to use because the oil paint by itself is very thick and you have to, you have to water it down. I don't know about water, but fluid, they get thinner so you can use paint to paint with it easier. You can use it thick, but it'd be very, very thick. So the liquid, the liquid original does that, the medium for oil paint. It's really good. It's very fluid. You can't, you gotta pour, it comes out fast, so you pour it out, pour it out slowly. I talked about this in the video before. I'll put a link in the little thing below. But this does come in bigger size. This was small, this is a small size. I've used some of it already, you see. But there is a much bigger size of this, so you, if you do big paintings, you can do like, you have more stuff to use. But this is really good. And there's tons of other mediums in this brand. This is the Winston Newton one. There's tons of other mediums. There's tons of others. But I started out with that because I'm new to oil paints. I haven't got fully into them yet, but I'm learning. And the next thing is cleaning. I'm big on taking care of my supplies, especially my paintbrushes, keeping them clean, keeping them non dirty, and all that stuff. So I'm big on. Cleaning supplies come very organized and very clean, so I'm big on keeping things in good condition as they are as they were when I bought them. So 
I discovered, well, I knew about this before, um, the master brush cleaner and preservers. There's a woman on, I follow on, on YouTube and Instagram, she's an artist as well. I was supposed to meet her a few months ago, but it didn't happen. It was all big mix up. But anyway, she was talking about this in her, one of her videos, in her cleaning video, and it was really good. I used tried it. It's a, the master cleanse, master's brush cleaner and preserver. It's a brush cleaner to help you clean your brushes and keeps them clean and moisturized, <laughs> moist, moist, and get rid of the gunk and the paint that's all your brushes and stuff. This is really good. You just, all you have to do is take your brush and move around in there and clean water, scrub it a little bit, and it works it's really good. And it smells good too. You know what I know? I smell everything. It smells good. It smells like, it smells like soap, but like shampoo soap. Shampoo's good to clean brushes. You can use shampoo, conditioner, hair conditioner, and you want to clean your brushes. I talked about in my video about that, but also, if you want to buy this, you can buy shampoo conditioner. But this is a problem. It's only like $5. Like it came in a, in a kit. And the kit included the soap. There's a bar of soap, the Master's Cleanser bar of soap. This is the bar of soap. I used it over there. I put it in the top bag. See? This is the bar of soap. This is for like, you get soap. You get paint on your clothing. You can just take it and scrub your clothing with it, and it comes off it. This is for your brushes. This is for for like you actually scrubbing. You know, you got paint stain on your pants or your shirt. You, you scrub up with this. It's really works. And this is really good. It smells good too. I used this the other day. I used this also for washing your hands. You get oil paint on your hands or clip in your hand. You can use this as well, and it works well with that. That's why I used it. I never. Oh, it smells, good. It smells like it smells like mint. Something green, but. It's really good for good when washing your hands. Like that's why I use it for. That's why it's in this little bag. Um, also, pink. Also about cleaning is pink soap. Pink soap. I was curious about this. It was. I've heard it's really good. So I purchased it because it was only. It was, it was cheap. It was not expensive. But I don't like it. I'm sorry. I don't like it. Like I hate it. I'm sorry to say that, but I hate it. It does not work for cleaning or brushing, cleaning brushes at all. It's great for washing your hands with. Like it's great for that. But brushing it is not. Or it's, it's, I don't know why this doesn't exist. I'm sorry to say that, but I don't like it at all. I hate it. So I'm very bored with that, but I, it's not good. I don't recommend this at all. I recommend the brush cleaner, master brush cleaner instead. Not this. This is, this is terrible. I don't want to, I, I keep it because I wash my hands with it. If I have paint on my hands, so I use wash my hands. Instead of regular soap, I use this. Because that's, that's all it's good for, is washing my hands. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry to say that, but true. Now, speaking of oil paints and using oil paints, this is the odorless turpentine toy. I talked about this in my last video. Turpentine is keeps the your brush the oil off your brushes. Like you can use water to clean acrylic brush, acrylic or acrylic paints, but oil paint you need turpentine. This is a substitute for turpentine. It's very chemicalized. It's up and dangerous. There's a warning sign on the front of the of the bottom of the bottom of the container here. Careful with this. I put this in a little glass jar. So I'm going to video when I talk about this to keep it closed and wash the brushes in it to clean it off the oil paint off the brushes. But be careful with this stuff. It's very, it's chemical. Like and it has no, it has a smell, very bad chemical smell. But if I suppose you don't smell it, like don't be like me, smell everything. But I smelled this before and it's not good. But careful. With it. it works very well, but it's very chemical and very harmful so be careful with this stuff but it's good i recommend it really recommend it um next is markers when i first on youtube I, my first videos i did was markers i love markers and i'm obsessed with fabric castles you know if you watch me for a while my videos while well, you know that i'm obsessed obsessed with fabric castles i have a lot of them and i keep buying more and more these are my fabric castle markers well it's not i have more than three but these are the brands i use I started out using the Fabric Castle Pit Artist uh, Big Brush, which is this one. These sell great. I have a ton of these. I love these markers. They're amazing. The, this is the... Look at that point. It's amazing. I love it. Good color. Vibrant color. Lots of colors. They come, they come in sets as well. I go in separately as well. <coughs> Excuse me. But this is really good. And then I discovered the, that there's a kid line of markers of Fabric Castle has. As well, so these are these are the borderline uh, fabric castle markers as well. A little smaller nib than the than, than the than this one, but these go as well. Good color, not bad at all. And then these are the skinny ones. These are the grip 
markers. There's like a grip here to hand to help you hold the marker correctly. Good color, small, good for fine lining of small details because the ink is the pen nib is smaller, skinnier thing. The good thing about the kid markers is they're they're washable and reusable. So if the ink dries out in these, all you have to do is dip the tip in water and it will replenish the ink, which is really good. And all the ink in and Papiasso markers are India ink, which is very good ink. India ink is what this is in here. The black cat is India ink. I think the yes, the Higgins too, even though I don't like it that much, is India ink as well. India ink is very good ink. And all Papiasso markers have India ink in them. They're very well good. Very well. Very good. Okay, so that is all my favorite and not so favorite supplies of 2015. Um, I did a lot of this, this year and those are the supplies I use over and over again. I don't want to be next year. It's going to be something different. I'll see about that in a, another video coming up soon. Um, so, wish everybody happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Merry, Happy Kwanzaa, everything. Hope you enjoy your holidays, been talking to your families and friends, and I will see you next video. Bye!